Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're back with the Ouya again. And the reason is, is that I've been getting some viewer email every once in a while from uh, different folks who are having trouble finding ROMs on the memory stick for their emulator to use. And I wanted to just kind of briefly run through where to find those things so you know where to look. Um, so the first thing that you do typically is just copy the files uh, from your computer to the stick. Very simple operating system thing. You can, if you've done it with a Word document or a PDF, you, you can do it with a ROM file. Uh, so bring those files over. I like to put things in different folders so I can find them easily. Uh, do that, take the stick out, put it in the Ouya, download your emulator of choice, and off you go. Now what I want to do before we look at the emulator though is just show you the file structure of the Ouya. The Ouya is an Android device, so it, it basically follows the, the same conventions. So if you've ever moved files around on your Android phone or tablet, this is exactly, almost exactly the same thing. A lot of the conventions are the same. Now there's a little app on the Ouya store. Let me back out of here for a second so you can see what I loaded here. Um, a little app in the Ouya store called uh, File Own or Pwn. Um, and it's a really, this is it here. This is the, what it looks like. Uh, it's a really helpful little file manager that is made for the Ouya. So uh, it loads up and it defaults to your SD card zero directory. Now on the Ouya, it doesn't have an SD card slot. So it considers its main memory to be an SD card. That's the convention it uses. So um, you're not going to find anything that you put on your stick in there. So let me show you where you can find it. So we're going to go up to the parent folder. You see, I'm going to navigate up to parent folder. I'm going to go up again because we don't want to be in the SD card. We want to go all the way down here on the, this is the root level now. You can see at the top, it's got just a slash next to the icon in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, we're going to scroll all the way down to uh, USB drive. And there you see all of the stuff that is on this stick. And this is actually where if you had like a APK file to side load, if you wanted to just load an a, a Android app that wasn't in the Ouya store, uh, you could load it on your memory stick and do that here. And you can see uh, at the top, watch that, uh, the, the green circle icon where it says view. It now says install when I go over that uh, APK file. And if I hit this button here, we're going to install the OnLive app. It installed it and I can even open it from here and basically run an app that wasn't designed for uh, the Ouya. It was just basically a generic, um, uh, a generic uh, Android game or app that I can just load up here very easily. So uh, that is one neat little feature of this file own thing. But you can also get a sense as to how uh, the file system is structured. So let's go pop out of here real quick and go back to uh, file pwn. And I just want to show you briefly what I've done with my ROMs. So um, what I've done is basically uh, put my ROMs in different directories by system. So I made a folder and then copied those ROMs into the folder. All right, so now we're going to take a look at an emulator. And for the sharp eye there, yes, I switched controllers because my PS3 controller's battery died. So we went back to, uh, to the Ouya controller. So we're going to load up the nest.emu from Robert Broglia. And his, his uh, interface is similar to most other emulators. Everyone's got their own little way of going about it, but that file structure is the same. So what we're going to do is go to load game. And now mine is currently on the root level directory. So uh, basically that's at the, the, the starting point. Yours may not be. So if you want to go back a directory, so I'm going to go pop into, uh, let's go into uh, USB drive. If you wanted to go back a folder, uh, back up one level, uh, you just hit the, uh, the left button or the left uh, arrow on the control pad and that will uh, move you around. So this will, uh, you put the, push the button to go into the folder and the left pad uh, to go out. Now every emulator is going to do this differently. So um, you just need to be aware of that as you go through this. But we're going to go over to USB drive and then find my NES uh, directory here. And I'll just load up, uh, I don't know, a uh, 10 yard fight. And there we go. Now the one exception to this is going to be the MAME application because it has a slightly different file structure. And let's take a look at it real quick. Um, what I did when I first loaded it was told it to uh, put this onto my USB stick. If you don't do that, uh, it will put all of these folders into uh, that SD card uh, spot on the Ouya's main memory. And then what you want to do is just put your ROM files in the folder called ROMs. Now, that structure is going to be created by the app itself. So when you first load MAME on Ouya, it will ask you where to put that directory, and then it will go ahead and create all those folders. So uh, just be aware of that. But beyond that, it's pretty much uh, just as easy to get those things on there. Now, like I said, every emulator has got a slightly different way it goes about finding files. So you'll need to just kind of browse around a little bit. But that file structure will remain the same throughout. So that's how you do it. And this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.